السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم الحمد لله Welcome back We're going to look today inshallah at the what are called the eighth karamat that Ibn Juzay al-Kalbi has identified in the Quran for the people of patience The first one is Mahabba Wallahu yuhib as-sabirin Allah loves patient ones. So this is a great gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that you get his mahabba. Now one of the things, and this is I think a really important point, there are a lot of Muslims that don't understand uh, the nature of divine love. So, and some Christians have always uh, argued that Islam is not a religion of love. Uh, that to me is a completely false argument at the source of Islam is our Prophet Sallallahu who's called Habib Allah, the beloved of God. Yuhibbun Allah wa yuhibbuhum. They love God and God loves them. So, uh, Mahabba is at the root of the Islamic tradition. And in fact, uh, there, there are many different types of love in the Arabic tradition. Uh, the Quran uses terms like Ar-Mawadda, that Allah puts between the servants of the merciful, wood. Wood is a type of affectionate love, and it's an unconditional type of love. So al-wadud is a loving spouse. Uh, one of the names of God is al-wadud, uh, the, uh, the, the loving God, the God that loves his creation. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you see verses in the Quran, in Allah la yuhib al God doesn't love the oppressors. That, that's what's called mahabba khasa, because all of us oppress. No, nobody is free of oppression. So if that was a mutlaq, that means God doesn't love anybody except maybe the, the, the prophets and, and uh, a handful of awliya and salihin that don't have dhul. Because even in the Quran it says, ثُمَّ أَوْرَثْنَا الْكِتَابَ الَّذِينَ اصْطَفَيْنَ مِنْ عِبَادِنَا فَمِنْهُمْ ظَالِمٌ لِنَفْسِهِ Allah calls them Mustafa, that He's chosen them. And yet here He says, they're oppressing themselves. So if Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبَّ الظَّالِمِينَ اللَّهُ لَا يُحِبَّ الظَّالِمِينَ Allah doesn't love the oppressors. If this person's a ظَالِم, by the testimony of the Qur'an, and yet he's Mustafa, he's chosen, and he's given Wiratha, inherited the book, then how does that square? We have to understand different degrees of divine love. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Rahmati wasi'at kulla shay. My mercy has encompassed all things. That includes everyone. That includes the disbeliever, the believer, the, the atheist, uh, the Jew, the Jain, the Gentile. Everybody goes under that. And so, where it differs is in that mahabba khasa. This is the specific love that Allah gives to the people of taqwa. Again, getting back to the centrality and the importance of taqwa. And so this is extremely important. So the people of taqwa are also وَمَنْ يَصْبِرُ وَيَتَّقِي Whoever is patient and has taqwa. Right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the people of patience and taqwa. And so they get وَاللَّهُ يُحِبْ Allah loves الصَّابِرِينَ So that's the first quality of these eight. The second quality is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with you in, in, in sakur. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala actually gives you his ma'iyah. Uh, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, asta'inu bil sabri wa salah. Take solace, take uh, help, uh, seek refuge in patience and prayer. Asta'inu bil sabri. Inna Allah Verily, indeed, surely, Allah is with the people of sabr. So this is, this is amazing that when you're patient, Allah is with you. Now one of the interesting things, and human beings, one of our difficulties, because we have what's called irascibility, we have an irascible nature, and for those of us who have the trial and tribulation of having a choleric temperament, um, dealing with learning how to control that irascible nature it takes a lot of work and time and effort. Other people, it's very easy for them to control that. But in the case of irascibility, 
the, the, the person who has that type of temperament, um, it's very important that they learn to control that. Now, one of the extraordinary things about walking is that it's been, it's been shown in many, and there are many actual uh, articles about this, it's been shown that people that walk consistently, that it actually reduces their stress, and their, the threshold for anger becomes higher and higher. So people that walk as a practice, they actually become more calm and less prone to losing their temper. Which I find it very interesting because in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَعِبَادُ الرَّحْمَانِ الَّذِينَ يَمْشُونَ عَلَى الْأَرْضِ هُونَ And the servants of the merciful, and the, the attribute here was used, it didn't say the servants of Allah, it says the servants of the merciful. It is Allah, but it's using the attribute of mercy. They walk upon the earth lightly, uh, humbly. وَإِذَا خَاطَبُهُمَ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا And when ignorant people provoke them, they say peace. So there's a direct relationship, I think, between just the practice of walking. And our Prophet uh, walked uh, and he said to give glad tidings to the mashain, the dhulam, the people who walk in the dark to the mosque. And Muslims traditionally walked a great deal. One of the tribulations of modern people is they don't walk enough. So that having the, the nasar of Allah will come from patience. So if you get angry, Iblis comes in the room. If you are able to contain yourself, Allah is with you. Inna Allah ma'a as-sabirin. And then the third uh, quality is the, the ghuraf in Jannah. Yudzawna uh, al-ghurfata bima sabaru. They are given the reward of high places in paradise because of their patience. Bima sabaru. So because of their patience, they're granted these high stations in paradise. So the, the fourth one is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you a reckoning without any hisab. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرُهُمْ بِغَيْرِ hisab." That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the, the, the patient ones have their reward given to them, fulfilled, without any reckoning. And so that is the fourth. So these are extraordinary, these four. Um, that we mentioned, the first one being the mahabba that you gain, the mahabba of Allah, the love of Allah through patience, that you have succor or victory from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His ma'iyya, that God is with you when you're patient, that you are given high ranks in paradise when you're patient, and then finally you, you, you're, you're rewarded without any reckoning. It's, it's a huge, a vast reward for being patient. So it's extraordinary uh, to, to have these gifts who have uh, died in the path of God, that they're dead. But you're unaware of the type of life that they have. And then immediately after that, So now, and, and our scholars say that, that in, in this that we're being warned by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here. We, we are going to test you. We are going to try you. That life is a tribulation. Allah will try you in your life. So there's going to be tribulations in your life. This is tambihun min Allah. It's a warning from God that life is trial and tribulation. And the trial is going to be bishayin. It's something, it's a modicum of khawf, of fear, of ju'a, of hunger of diminishment, naqs, uh, in your wealth and in your fruits and in your lively, your lives themselves. So all of these things are going to experience tribulation and diminishment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says after that, وَبَشِّرَ sabirin. So give glad tidings to the people of patience. So this is the fifth karama. This is the fifth miraculous gift of patience is that you have bushra from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is glad tidings. And then, وَبَشِّرَ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينِ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةٌ قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Those who when they're afflicted with calamities, what do they say? When the calamity comes, they say, إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ We belong to Allah. 
we belong to God and to God we return. So the lamb there, in, in Arabic when you say, Hada laka, this is for you, in other words, this belongs to you, or al kitabu li, that book is for me. That lamb is a lamb of possession, of dominion. So whenever anything happens to you, the first thing that you remember, ma asaba min musibatim fa illa bi'idhinillah that no calamity afflicts illa bi'idhinillah except that it was by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that, you remember that. وَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ يَهْدِ قَلْبًا And whoever believes in Allah, he will guide his heart. You remember that. So, إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ We belong to God, and to God we return. أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَرَوَاتٌ مِّنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ Upon those are salawat from God. So this solace from God, this divine solace of forgiveness, this divine solace of, uh, of rahmah comes from, and, and rahmah. So sarawatum uh, min Allah and rahmah and mercy. So the, 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 these are the, 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 the sixth and seventh gift. And finally, وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمْ muhtadun That you get guidance. This is huda. So here are the, the four things, the bishara, وَبَشَّرُ sabirin the sarawat, these, these benedictions from God, this, this, the gift of the solace, the divine solace that God uh, uh, descends upon your heart, and then rahmah from Allah, this mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then the fact that God is saying, you have my guidance. So you've been given the huda, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So these are the eight karamat of patience, and they're a great blessing uh, all from the Qur'an. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people of patience. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make us people that adhere to these truths to the best of our ability.